all right hello and welcome to the first video on the sos channel and today we're going to go through a very important discussion on how to turn your audio from sounding like this with all this horrible hiss and background noise to sounding like this perfect nice and quiet with no background noise or hum whatsoever so stay tuned here we go So regardless of what you're doing, whether you're uh, streaming online, uh, just do doing random YouTube video or conference calling, people can often forgive you for having, uh, you know, not the best picture quality or not the best video quality. However, having bad audio is always unforgivable and will drive your viewers away. The best way that I found that will solve this issue once and for all is going through a DAW, setting up your audio voice over there, and then you can just channel that output into whatever you're doing, whether it being streaming, making a video, or conference calling over some third-party application. Moving on to my DAW here, what I'm using is Ableton Live. Uh, you might have Ableton Lite version, which I believe is free, or maybe Fruity Loops or some other DAW. Uh, whatever they all pretty much work the same and we're just gonna focus here on one audio channel which I have named SOS voice what we will be focusing on today is removing background noise and hum which is extremely annoying in all videos and will make you sound extremely unprofessional so we're gonna go ahead and go to live preferences set up your audio input devices in my case I'm using a uh, Scarlett Solo to which this mic is plugged into and as the audio output device uh, this is I've created a multi output device on my Mac and this is going to tell um, Ableton to channel the audio through this multi output device so it can be used in OBS or Zoom or Skype or whatever it is software that uh, you want to channel that audio into. We're going to go through all of these free plugins in later videos and explain to you what each of them does in order to get like a radio sound or whatever kind of sound you want to get and enhance the sound as best as possible. But today's video is going to be about noise. So for the noise, we're going to be using uh, a noise gate, which is this option here. So you can go ahead and if you're using Ableton, type in gate. If you're using something other than Ableton, then uh, they all pretty much have a noise gate built in into them. So just type in noise gate or gate, whatever, and just add it onto here. Another VST that you're gonna have to download, and this is free, is called the Burton Denoiser. There is a huge and major difference between a noise gate and a denoiser. And we're gonna go through these in later videos as well and explain all of the details, but Basically what um, it does is a noise gate will help you eliminate all the noise when you are not talking. So if I were to stop talking right now, there would be no noise whatsoever. However, when I start talking and the gate opens up, then without having a denoiser, you would be hearing all the background noise while I'm talking because the gate is now open. And all of this is going to make sense in a minute. As soon as I show you, you're going to get what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are. This is our denoiser right here. And this is our noise gate right here. Notice what's going to happen when I shut off the denoiser. So, as you can see with the denoiser off, when I'm not talking, you can hear complete silence. However, while I'm talking and now the gate is open, you can hear all the horrible background noise. So what happens if I turn the gate off as well? Turning the denoiser off and the gate off as well is going to give you this. So you're going to be hearing the background noise all the time. If I want to get rid of this background noise, what I really am aiming for is not a noise gate, but is the denoiser. So by activating the denoiser now, all of the background noise is gone, whether I'm talking or whether I'm not talking. So why do we need a gate? The gate is still useful if you're doing some work, you know, on the computer or in my case, you know, I play my guitar while I'm talking sometimes and I don't want people to hear, you know, the keyboard when I'm typing on the keyboard. I don't want them to hear the keys of the keyboard or I don't want them to hear the pick uh, plucking against the guitar strings. 
And this is why I use a noise gate in order to eliminate those uh, noises completely when I'm not talking at all. So with my noise gate threshold set at negative 28 decibels, what does that mean? That means when I'm talking into the mic right now, the volume of my voice is louder than 28 decibels, than negative 28 decibels. So the gate is going to open up and you're going to be able to hear me talk. If I type on the keyboard, which is further away from the, from the uh, microphone, like now, this is emitting a volume which is lower than negative 27 points negative 27.8 negative 28 decibels so the gate is going to remain shut and the microphone is not going to pick up those noises so what will happen if i were to talk and type at the same time so if i do that then you will be able to faintly hear me typing while i'm talking so if you want to think about it this way the noise gate is excellent to shut down and eliminate all noises whatsoever when you are not talking a denoiser on the other hand is what you need in order to eliminate the background noise whether you're talking or not so back to here and today's focus is the denoiser so this is when you shut the gate off right now and focus on the denoiser right here we go into the settings of the denoiser here and you're going to notice that this is an extremely versatile one with a lot of options here you have the threshold and you want to set this to something which suits uh, you and your background noise. So you just mess around with it basically like this. You can lower the threshold. So as I'm making the threshold lower, you're able to hear the background again. So this is at zero. So it's not doing anything right now. And you just slide it up slowly until it eliminates all the background noise while you're not talking even further and why i like this one more than others is because you can control individual frequencies so i'm gonna set these down all the way and show you how to control them without speaking okay so what you want to do is pretty much just mess around with them randomly Usually backward noise is most picked up in mid to high frequencies. So you just mess with the thresholds here until you don't really hear any background noise anymore. So here we go. This is pretty much perfect. You can just tweak them around and I would suggest to always use the minimum threshold required in order to cancel the background noise. So I'm going to show you right now how to actually download and set up the Burton denoiser. Just go to the website which I'm going to link down below which is burtonaudio.com slash denoiser and you can just scroll down here and you just click get the Burton denoiser and here you can you know set a fair price it is free so you can you can put zero dollars here or you can donate whatever you want you're gonna go ahead and click purchase in your case you put in your email and it's gonna send it to you uh send in a download link to you by email and that's how you have it um, downloaded on your computer and you just go through the installation options so earlier in the video i showed you that in ableton live i had my multi output device selected as the audio output and in future videos probably in the next few days i'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up your multi um, output device and how to channel that output device into uh, obs or into zoom or into skype or whatever it is that you're using or just for filming a youtube video I will also be streaming on Twitch once or twice a week and the link is in the description below to the Twitch channel where we can you can ask questions and we can talk more about all this stuff in, uh, in more detail and I'll have more tips and tricks for you in future videos and also on Twitch. Again, so if you did find this video useful, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you in a later video.
Thank you.